Hello and welcome, Cosmic Quantum Traveler. How are you doing? A special update today, so to say, um, or rather an announcement that we are fully awakening from the dream within the dream. <clears throat> As we fully can see crystal, with crystal and clarity again, the real big picture. Thank you so much for everyone who took part in today's call, or rather yesterday's, the group call of the return of the Diamond Avatar and Sun God, Sun Goddess. Really, it's, I mean, it was many things. <clears throat> what it was mainly about, what this is right now unfolding as, it's us truly remembering the oneness from a really deep level of why everything has happened why everything needed to happen the way it did and this is the full rising or rather dissolution of the false ego mind and the true rising of the true masculine principle the true quantum god mind our reconnection to source consciousness it was very much connected with with um neuroplasticity the rewiring of our neural networks the way we think, the way we perceive reality, which is what the whole programming, reprogramming I've been focusing on so much has really been about. And <clears throat> so there's a lot of throat clearing, finalizing. Um, I can feel and see the masculine is ready to roar. His shoe, all this pent up, bottled up energy, life force, emotions are coming out. And I mean, I feel my heart is about to pop in a really big way. So I wanted to do this quick update. Also, it's kind of a combination of a quick update. Trying to uh, add something to the big picture, which I think will help the masculine a lot. And then also um, just as a thank you and kind of recap for those who have taken part in the call or, or who still want to take part. So you can still um, access the quantum replay. It's available now with this post and video. So I'm cramming it all into one instead of doing two or three different ones. Um, the details are below in the description box. Those that have already signed up, you just go back to the email that you received and download the document again. And it has now been updated with the replay details. Yeah, and I also posted it for the membership container. And thank you so much for everyone who supported me. Any messages sent, any donations. Thank you so, so much truly for your support. I'm sorry, I can't. Like I've been especially the last two days not able to really uh, reply to messages much because um, there was just a lot to a lot of pieces to bring together uh, to dive deeper into because and I'm going to try and give you like a little overview of what we discussed in the call over four hours and we did a one hour long uh, light language activation which was really powerful of literally awakening from the dream within the dream which ultimately means many things, but it's us really returning to oneness, us remembering the real truth, that this has all been a happening, there's no one to blame, as well as there's responsibility and accountability to be taken. But ultimately, it's all about you just learning your lessons from the experience, from your journeys throughout time and space. This is what all of this was about, you and the, like the default ego mind sees things as positive, negative, right, wrong, good, bad. That's the compartmentalization that we're fully transcending now, along with all judgments, everywhere where we have like been um, projecting our own unacknowledged shadow aspects onto others. And it's been this inverted mirror world where we haven't been able to see clearly because what another person sees in you says more about them than it says about you. Um, I mean, that's another topic. <laughs> I don't think I will go into too much today, although it has something to do with it. But um, first things first. So basically this activation is like, I can just fully feel the last veil is fully dissolving the split between the masculine and feminine, uh, between time and space, uh, time continuums, realms, dimensions, our own higher identities is fully healing. The energies are super high <laughs> as this is fully healing. Like I'm literally feeling like I'm floating off. So 
or I'm just going to explode into the diamond sun that I am, which was a big part of that activation. So again, the first 72 hours uh, after the activation, especially went live, but whenever you're really taking part, it is a whole uh, unraveling. Again, there's a lot more to these activations than just the actual call and you know the light language activation. It's the run-up before what's happening in the field and uh, especially the 72 hours after as still everything is unfolding in the field and what i can see is literally like it's just all illusions dissolving and i just feel as if my whole reality around me is about to shape shift and i'm going to be in a totally different new earth environment that's what it feels like right now because we're fully dissolving transcending all of the mind control programming so that's been a big theme i mentioned in my last video also and it's really been much about um also why we had the storms in Ireland and England, because um, this is where the 11 Stargate is connected to Stonehenge and where a big hub of the mind control system has been anchored. Uh, and it's also connected to the planetary and then uh, Emerald Crystal Diamond Rosette Network. Really, for me, it's one, this new heart-mind uh, network uh, that now is unified as one, as really we've brought the masculine, feminine, gender principles back together into union as we have cleared out all the remaining mind control and also negative alien technologies that have been you know, running the reversals and literally uh, made it almost impossible for us to come to true divine hierogamic union. Now, I had a question in my last video and I went deeper into it and received the answer of why has this taken so long, the looping. So why have we been looping? What's with the looping? um because it's like you kind of getting somewhere but then you feel like you're not really getting somewhere and it's like why are we not there yet because i've been shown we should already have awoken yeah so what's the hold up here and then i was shown it's very much connected to the uh cia uh experiments with um lsd back in the well really 40s 50s 60s 70s never really stopped <laughs> so basically the mk ultra does really good totally altered our perception of reality. And it was also supported by automated machinery within the planetary network that kept turning out, churning out negative um, thought forms, frequencies. Um, it's like, you know, every day it's like Groundhog Day because it's like instead of I mean, you've learned something, but you kind of need to start all over again. It's like as if you need to start a computer game every time from the beginning instead of where you left off the last time. So it made it very hard for us to kind of see traction or, you know, this is also where the hopelessness sometimes comes in. <laughs> are we getting there? Um, when are we getting there? And um, is it ever gonna happen? Because so often we could feel it's here, it's here, it's coming and then it's deflating again. So again, I was shown it's very much connected to um, the MK Ultra programs that the CIA had been running. I'm gonna leave a link, two links actually below that may help you with the topic we're talking about, awakening from the dream within the dream, because that's what we are doing right now all together as one. As we fully remember the real truth, the big picture that heals and frees us all. Okay. Um, basically, this one video I'm going to leave the link to below is about um, the gateway process. So basically the CIA found out through their experiments with LSD that reality is based on your perception of reality. There is no physical universe. There is no matter. Everything is imagined. So whatever you believe to be true is the reality you're creating. So what they did is, instead of using this for the good of humanity and freeing us all, for us to become conscious co-creators again, they basically MK ultra themselves, us, and kept us in this false sense, perception of reality through the endless mind control programming we get through school, through radio, television. It's everywhere. It's also in spiritual, religious, text, communities, all of that. Okay, All of these inversions of truth. And also, if you under, understand the CIA, it's very much like, and it's not about like, 
blaming any one government body because this is much uh, this is just a much bigger picture um because you need to see this from the perspective of the one consciousness why would the one consciousness do this upon itself and then i was shown basically it's very much connected to the need for control so if you for example would say hey whatever you can imagine that's your reality it's like it's uncontrollable it's like you're basically surrendering to source and allow the full flow state, you know, to allow you to show you what you're here to create, which is what we're returning to right now. So the consciousness, afraid of no control over its reality, comes from fear. It's a fear of not having a control over your reality. And instead of then just again surrendering, it doubled down on the control of the consciousness of how it was supposed to create reality because also obviously the beings and consciousness ultimately behind it their interest is in keeping us within this um minimized perception of reality where it's like a, a fraction of our consciousness is kind of caught in this hologram and it has been like poking holes <laughs> through the firmament and you know the higher dimensional layers and levels us doing all of the soul retrieval work, all of the, you know, healing our wounds and traumas, reclaiming our multidimensional self, healing it and loving it all up. And this then allows us to um, basically retrieve what has really happened here, which is what's happening now. So I was shown basically it's beyond an agency. It's basically the one consciousness not wanting to wake up because it's afraid of the it's 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 literally like the the Huxley quote, like they are afraid um, of a world ruled by love because it's a world they can't control. So this is all about control. Control comes from fear. You want to control reality, how reality is going to work. This is what's happened within the one consciousness, and then it created basically mind control. MK Ultra the self. I mean they they MK Ultra their own agents. They're stuck as well or rather not anymore so this is fully clearing healing all like this is huge soul retrieval works huge clearing off of any remaining demonic entities they're all fierce again just that have taken on a life of their own the same with the ai however you want to see all of this it's this unacknowledged or like the, the collective shadow body that had you know kind of gotten out of control and nobody was controlling it anymore because there is no control so what happened today or like on the day or the hours after I did my last update and posted it, there were a lot of solar flares going on. And there was literally a huge, like the final bell, so to say, rung for certain souls that were transported back to source. So everybody has their own deadline. And ultimately, I mean, it's it's all here now. It's already happened. We're already there. So basically also a big thank you to my group container um some amazing work special thank you to Wena, a true warrior um who figured this out sort of with me together all as one and bringing in all of our keys and codes and our own perceptions understanding of what was going on and basically as the one consciousness understands why it has been looping so for example okay it's the mk ultra mind control why was it even within a consciousness it's because the consciousness is afraid of letting go of control surrendering to source so it rather it's its own demigod trying to control reality disconnected from source which would you be in full flow state letting go of any need to control your realities uh it rather did that again it's all fear so again fear is at the bottom of all of this we were shown the big picture, all of that. I mean, everything is here now. And I can't, I mean, if you really want to uh, have have some help and accelerate us awakening from the dream within the dream, do check out the call because I can't put the four hours I spoke there into this, as well as I mentioned many different pieces over, you know, many videos of bringing the big picture together of why we've even, um you know had this whole experience because ultimately again it's so we could expand our blueprint it's like this is not real this is the main message i want to transmit it's like first of all it's not real 
because the universe isn't real, there is no matter, we're imagining all of this. But this is particularly not real because it's based on inversions of truth, on the false, on fear. Fear is not even real. It's false evidence appearing real. It's us being paranoid. Again, that's how they control our perception of reality and keep us in this prison matrix by constantly bombarding us with fear messages. Or where we're like in victim consciousness, you know, all this victim victimizer programming, which is constantly running everywhere and in the spiritual community also. So that's why it was so important to, again, rewire our brains to neuroplasticity, totally reprogramming ourselves out of this MK Ultra mind control that had everything twisted and it's everywhere. I mean, ultimately, this is all about you becoming God sovereign and free, you making up your own mind and no longer letting other people uh, tell you what to do, who to be, what not to do, what's right, what's wrong. Okay, that's you being your own true, unique, real, raw, sovereign self. That's you igniting your own energy signature frequency, your own unique divine blueprint. That's you adding the puzzle piece together. And I just hear clicking everywhere right now because we just like literally liberated the mind principle the masculine is fully rising that's the real event the true truth the real truth and once you know the truth you can speak the truth and that's what's coming out now and that's what's freeing all and that's what's literally dissolving all of this fakery which is literally a dream you're dreaming all of this like check out the video link below truly of this gateway experience uh because all the keys and codes are there and as long as now all the mind control, because this is really, really what burned off, that was really already divine intervention that I don't know how many M flares went off that day. Um, like when was that? 23rd on the 23rd? Um, literally burning through this mind control fence and getting to the core of the core. Ah, oh, okay, this is why we've been looping. That realization heals everything. Because also we understand ultimately, again, everybody's just playing a role here. It's just your false ego self being attached to your identity that's suffering and it's clinging to this false reality. It's not even real. It's a set of algorithms. Your real true self is someone totally different. Another video I leave beyond, um, below also on um, reminding yourself why, why, you know, this, this false ego self, the separated ego mind, if you want to call it that way, uh, it's not really real. And the surrender, the, you know, to source, literally sacrificing your life, so to say, is because you also understand you cannot die. And this is all a dream. Your pure consciousness, your pure energy, it's beyond all of the concepts, anything you ever thought to be true, to be real, let it all the way go, all the storylines right now. Once you really have learned your lessons, you've corrected them, Okay, just make the wrongs right again. That's all you need to do. All the grief, the shame, the guilt, resentment, all that anger. Yeah, it needs to be felt, to be purged because it's cellular memory, energy held in your body that you need to clear so the truth can come online now where it's like this has never happened. So we are imagining the unimaginable where this has never happened and we do not need healing because we are back to our original state plus upgrades. That's the important part, because we did this in order to merge all worlds as one. So no matter what anyone played as a role, this goes especially out to the masculine. Once you've learned your lessons, you need to let it all the way go. Because once you let go of your false ego self, you're fully liberated and free because nobody has done anything here. This is all a dream. It has never happened. Enu karate nashinata. Kuyana sanata. Anata. But you need to learn your lessons and see it the right way, but that's happening now anyway. So amazing work, everyone. I think I basically leave it as that, um, because I also want to get this all online and post it, so to say. I think I post this along with a post I actually wrote one year ago to the date of yesterday, the 25th which was all about the one dream because we've been dreaming this all as one. So we're literally awakening now, okay, around the campfire on the meadow where we've fallen asleep to dream this dream into being. And now we are awakening from the dream within the dream, remembering that we created this all as one. There's no one to blame. There's only responsibility, accountability to be taken. And literally at that level, you're just laughing and you're celebrating. I could literally feel afterwards. I mean, I feel so light 
after that activation had really like blasted the re last remaining illusions of separation and density of everything. This is fully lifting. And that means us lifting up. So all these negative thought forms, the inversions, ultimately, the reversals within the consciousness, fully corrected. This is all here. It's all within the oneness. As you just fully surrender to source, remember who you truly are, which is not your false ego self, but your higher identity coming online. And ultimately, you fully surrender to source, your pure source consciousness embodied. You can be anything, anyone you are. You're everything and you're nothing. As well as you're here to embody your own unique energy signature frequency, your own soul essence. But that also, again, the core always remains the same. But otherwise, there is a lot of room for expansion and shifts and changes and to have a lot of fun. You need to imagine it like, you know, once we don't need to do reincarnational cycles again. This is all done. Okay. Um, the cat. This is... You can basically have these experiences you would otherwise have in different lifetimes in this. So it's like infinite possibilities. There are no rules. All of this is imaginary, okay? The boxes, the rules, all of this. Whatever you believe to be true. And again, once you surrender to source, you know real truth. It's not about us just making it up and going crazy, each one of us, okay? Once you fully surrender to source, the cosmic monad, we are just unified. And this is all about full flow state right now. No control, okay? Let all the way go of control. There's a fear. You can't plan anything anymore. All you need to do is just, as you flow and let go and become your true magnetic self again, and this whole magnetic field and pole shift is fully completing right now, within that thing. As the energies between the masculine and feminine fully balance out, harmonize, we are back to our true state of beingness, our true innocence, perfection, but it's been perfectly imperfect, and each one totally unique. We are one, but we're not the same. And we're no longer in competition and we're no longer repelling one another, but we can see one another clearly and through the eyes of love. Okay. As we see ourselves clearly, we see everyone else clearly. Okay. I leave it here because it's raining and there's a cat outside and she wants attention. And, you know, we like cats. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Check out the links below. Uh, thank you so much for everyone who took part, has supported me infinite gratitude i see at the campfire it was literally i can feel i can just give all the black magicians a big hug and like hey join the party that's the vibe right now no more separation no more fear no more resistance no more running away the nervous system fully healing healing everything the big picture is what heals all now it's out in the ethers i said it in other videos if you really want to dig deeper into this the call is there from today uh, and again, there's a lot still playing out. So rise, cosmic dragons rise. The divine masculine is fully rising, roaring. And the supernova of the One Heart Mind event is changing everything forever. Right now, right here. As we awaken from the dream within the dream. Remember what is truly real. Usha, tena kinena, tenusunanata, takarata. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So much love. Bye, bye, bye.